Hi guys, welcome back to Detroit Become Human, my first ever blind playthrough. Already I can tell that this game is going to get crazy. I'm already having anxiety and fear that I'm not going to be able to react in time or make the right decisions and I'm just going to mess everything up horribly and it's stressing me out. But last time we met three characters that we play as Connor, Marcus, and Kara. Connor went into this hostage situation as a negotiator. It seems like he's working for law enforcement. We saved the girl, but we did not save Connor. Um, he fell to his death, supposedly. So already, we're screwing it up. And then Marcus, uh, he was just picking up an order of paint, getting bullied by some protesters that were nearby. And Kara is an android that lives with Todd and Alice. Alice is a sweet little girl. Todd probably has no redeeming factors. We found a gun in his room and we found like some windows that we opened. It seems we can use them as a way out um, in a later episode. So it was a very introductory section of the game in the last episode, but I did enjoy the world building that happened. We see that, you know, androids are an integral part of the society, not Everybody uh, likes them. They're causing a lot of uh, people to lose their jobs. But then again, these same people seem to kind of rely on them to get certain tasks done. They're basically treated like merchandise, like, you know, just just a tool, like a hammer that you'd pick up at Home Depot or something. So I'm excited to delve deeper into this story. I hope you guys are too. Enjoy the video to guys. See you in the comments. Okay, take care of Carl. Alright, we need to... I I really want to not, like, miss anything. It's so hard. So hard not to miss things. Now, this is a, a much fancier looking place. Carl is very well-to-do. He has... He's taken care of, basically, looks like. Look, we got the zebra rug. bird cage thingy fake birds oh they're androids too oh weird please tell me somebody has like a dog or a cat We go here. Let's go in here first. Kitchen? What? <laughs> okay, I don't... I don't think I want to do this yet. Oh, I guess we're locked into this. Can I put it down? Take tray to the dining table. Okay, I guess we can do that. I guess we can do that, but I, I need to explore all the things. Is this not the dining table? Hello? Hello? There we go. <laughs> I went all the way around. What are those fruits? All right. Hello, hello, hello. 
Hello? Nothing? Nothing. You better not say I missed stuff. Those are pretty vases. <gasps> it's the origami! That, is that a nod to heavy rain? That's gotta be a nod to heavy rain. That's gotta be a nod to heavy rain. I like that. What's this? Checkmate in three moves for silver. I would not want to play chess or whatever that is against an android. Century. Is that, it looks like Time Magazine. The North Pole. Why Russia wants it. Bonus culture. Why bankers pay themselves so much. Is President Warren too close to cyber life? Russia's interest in the North Pole has intensified with the recent discovery of precious minerals trapped in the frozen ice, many of which are used in synthesizing Ethereum. Android manufacture increasingly dominates both the U.S. and Russian economics, but this isn't just about GDP. Surplus Ethereum reserves would allow either nation to experiment in more advanced Android models, enhancing their military and industrial output tremendously. Add to this the strategic importance of the region, which connects Russia with Europe through Norway and Denmark. Greenland, as well as Canada, and the prospect of a peaceful resolution to this dispute starts to seem unlikely. But a spokesperson for NATO is more optimistic. Both nations stand to benefit from a stable, productive Arctic region. A conflict would benefit nobody. President Warren, however, recently torpedoed the notion. It's simple. Russia has no business in the Arctic. If the Kremlin doesn't understand that, then we will make them understand that. That sounds like a threat. Life found on Titan. Evidence for alien life grows. Oh, aliens. The Darwin probe, which left exactly 19 years ago to probe the surface of Titan's methane ice, has just confirmed the presence of microorganisms living hundreds of kilometers below the surface in an ocean of salt water, water prote uh, protected by a thick layer of ice. After similar microbial matter was found on Enceladus? Enceladus? Sign me up! Another satellite of Saturn, it seems increasingly possible that life is common in the universe. A NASA spokesman responded to this story, has stated, the latest in a series of pointers to life on other planets. Our android expedition to Io is among many such voyages that carry a prime objective of uncovering extraterrestrial life forms. Jason Graff, director of humanization at CyberLife, said the company was committed to its partnership with NASA. Our spacefaring androids are spe specially designed to function on long-range missions of this kind, and we are proud to have our models at the frontier of human exploration. I liked the other magazine better. It was more interesting. But that was cool, too. Um... What is this decor? There's like so much going on in this place. There Whoa! There's a fucking giraffe in here! And look at the ceiling! And he's it's like a museum. It's actually like a muse why is this house like a museum? So weird. Um I can't read any of that. Try. Oh, better than me. Can we go up these spiral stairs? Why are they up against the wall like that? Why do they go to the... Why do they go nowhere? It's like the Winchester Mystery House. That place is cool. That was the most gentle spin. 
That was very unsatisfying. He was just like... Spin. <laughs> Hello, giraffe. Does Marcus have to clean dust this place? I hope you're paying him overtime. Oh. Whoa. Okay. He paints. He dabbles in robotics. I got to meet this guy. What is that? That is so cool. You can't see everything on your first playthrough? Oh, you like you literally can't? Interesting. Interesting. He sculpts too? Who is this guy? What is this, a 3D printer? Can we paint? Will he get mad? Okay, there's not really much to interact with in here. Can we go outside? That's not a door. That's just a window. Okay. <laughs> Alright, can we go by? What's behind the curtain? A wall. Okay. All right. I think we need to go upstairs. We looked at the books. Look at the chandelier. Birdies are singing. So that's why he needed paint. I thought it was paint to like paint walls or something, you know? Ooh, look at this. Look at the stairway. I like this place. I like it. He does, um, 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 what's it called? He does this stuff too. <laughs> Whatever you call that. There's a word for it, right? Not grafting. Relief? Relief? Uh, relief? Something? Relief? A lot of books. Lots of books. Encyclopedias and shit, I bet. Alright. Okay. Old man, let's draw the curtains because I can't see. It's too dark. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. I think I like Carl. I think I like him a lot. He seems really sweet. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll 
I'll take you to the bathroom now. Okay, going to the bathroom with Carl. Can he not get himself around? How does he paint? A wheelchair? Very different from when we were hanging out with Todd, right? Okay, take Carl to the dining table. On the agenda today? Breakfast! Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? How do we get down the stairs? Just oh, that, fan mail. that's what that I've thing's for. Hmm. Fan mail? Any news from Retrospective? Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Hmm. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank Bacon you. and Come eggs. On. Heck yeah. Voila! Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Okay, Carl. Find something to do. I want to paint. Play chess? Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. I'm sorry, Carl. Play. Nah. Let's play the piano. Let's see what you got, Marcus. Melancholic, hopeful, intimate, or enigmatic? What does enigmatic sound like? Why is only two notes at a time? What am I looking at here? Um. Hello? I was pushing down too hard. So I wasn't working.
This is neat. Marcus, you play like a machine! Crazy! Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. But who's taking care of who? Yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are. And they take care of each other. Mm. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. I love them. Carl, don't die. Guys, if I if I get Carl killed, like if it's my fault if he dies and it's my fault, I'm rage quitting. I'm rage quitting. Okay, let's paint. Oh, okay, that's... Wow, what the hell? Let's see where we left off. Remove oh. the sheet. Oh my god. That is so cool. What are we painting, Carl? A flower? Clean the studio. No, it's a... Oh, it's a face. I see it now. <laughs> He's painting the ear right now. Okay. Isn't it weird how, like, you look at something and you see, like... You see, like, something and then once you, like, see something else... Like... You couldn't see it before at all, but now that's all you can see. Look at Carl go. Wait, I wasn't done cleaning. So... What's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. <gasps> yeah, my turn. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. What should we paint, guys? How about some birds? Like the ones downstairs. Find a subject to paint. Should we paint the statue? The desk? Paint Carl's painting. <laughs> Anything else? I feel like there might be one more option, but maybe not. Paint the desk. Damn. That is a perfect copy mm -hmm. of reality. 
reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Android's Humanity Identity. Humanity. Because we're to become human, right? Anger, comfort, empathy, and hope. I wonder if Marcus feels anger towards humanity. How about hope? Hope for a brighter future with androids and humanity. I'm digging the soundtrack of this game so much. Okay, let's see. What have you painted, Marcus? Whoa. Oh my God. Oh my God. Who's this? Who's this guy? Hey, Dad. Ah, oh, the sun. Leo. Oh, Leo. Leo is the sun. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. He looks <laughs> hey, listen, uh, on edge. Cash, Dad. You on drugs? Again? Leo? What happened to the money I just gave you? He uh, spent it on drugs. It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No, 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 I swear it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Oh, come on. Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter? More obedient? Not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Whoa! Leo, that's enough. Enough. Don't you lay a finger on my car, you Leo! You yourself in your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Carl loves Marcus. Oh, Carl's upset. Instead of blaming other people, Leo, why don't you look at your own self? Okay. Leo intruded to ask for money. Find something to do. We played the P. Okay, so in this case. I see why we missed th some things because we played the piano, but we could only do like one of three things, right? So we could have painted about, uh, you know, androids or identity, then we would have gotten those choices. But you can't, uh, now I see what you mean by you can't do it on all on your first playthrough. Okay. All right. This is, this is cool so far. What time is it? Okay. We still have time. Cool.
Jimmy's bar. Okay, it's raining. Aha! He's back. Okay. Yes. Okay, you're alive, Connor. You're alive! No androids allowed. Well, I'm special. Okay, are we gonna get him killed again? <laughs> please, please no. Look around, find Lieutenant Anderson, scan faces. Shit, I thought androids weren't allowed in here. Oh, Myers. Wait. Myers, Derek Myers, no criminal, no criminal record. He's a security guard. He is not Lieutenant Myers. Okay. What about this guy? Jonah Graham, unemployed, no criminal record. Excuse me while I scan you. Christopher Gray, unemployed, DUI. Christopher! Christopher. Christopher. Edward Dempsey, Administrator, no criminal record. Are you Lieutenant Myers? <laughs> Lieutenant Hank Anderson? Please, Lieutenant. Oh, wait. Why was I saying Myers? Oh, this is him. Is he in disguise? Oh, what are you playing? One of the other guys was named Myers, I think. Ban androids. Androids killed our country. We want jobs, not androids. Thirty-one percent unemployment rate. When will it stop? Well, it's at thirty-seven percent now. Oh, what can we get in here? Condoms. Um, and other stuff. We go in here. We go in the women's restroom. Like in Deus Ex. What did that lady say? What did that lady say? How unprofessional. Let's talk to Anderson over here. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Let's reason Listen, with him. I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Uh, uh. <laughs> I apologize, Lieutenant. I didn't mean to bother you. Dang it! I'll wait for you. Outside. I was gonna buy him another drink. Take your time. <laughs> Did I pause you say this? homicide. But I wanted to buy him another drink. <sighs> if Connor dies because of that, I swear. Okay, so he's interested about the homicide. You 
wait here. This isn't isn't what's his name's house, is it? Uh, patient. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. And then we're just not gonna wait. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait right here. This is a homicide. I'm not confirming anything. This isn't what's his name's house, is it? No, because this is a two story. Where Kara is. Oh, wait, wait. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around April from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by. Anything we can explore? Uh oh. Has the body been there for a while? Carlos Ortiz. Okay, there's nothing out here. I need to get in there and listen. Well, stay these in. But worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. Oh no. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. Three weeks? No more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? I nope. am alive. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All Ooh. the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the That's back. That's nasty. Way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside hey. if you need me. Yeah, will do. Okay, how, what do we... Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. What is that? I guess we're gonna find out, huh? Red ice. Victim used drugs. Okay. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, the red eyes. Deceased. Yeah, no shit. Knife, 28 knife wounds. Internal bleeding, 28 stab wounds. Deceased more than 19 days ago. Record theft and aggravated assault. Reconstruct. The victim fell here. The victim was stabbed. We're missing something. Oh, I can ch change the angle. It came from the kitchen. Reconstruction complete. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics.
regular letters font Cyberlife Sans? It's a font. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the I'm an android. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Now I can't this shit. Oh, gosh. Okay, so it's his blood, but it's written in a font, so that makes me think it's it was an android that actually did it. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Yeah, that's definitely it's got to be. Taking samples there? Yeah. That's it. Analyze the weapon. No fingerprints. See? See? See what did I tell you? Oh. All right, let's go further in. What? Why are you just standing there? I'm just standing there while I'm doing all the work. Okay, what do we have here? Dried blood is from Carlos. Okay. We've reviewed four out of ten evidence pieces. Okay. Okay. More of his blood, 19 days old. Obsessive writing. R A Ra rage. R Ra huh? R R four nine. R four nine. R four nine. What the fuck is that? Oh, what the hell is that? Religious offering Okay Hmm R49 Don't worry. No one wants to stay here a minute longer than they have to. What's this? We didn't we didn't look at this one. There's something weird in the bathroom. Did you take a look? Read. Gossips Weekly. Android sex. Official officially better. Judy Hewitt shows off her new beach bod. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Story time, guys. Okay, Android sex is better. The result of our survey is in and it's official. 68% of men prefer sex with an Android to a real woman. And with 52% of men saying they've tried the experience at least once, that's a lot of Android love to go around. Would you guys fuck an Android? <laughs> there were a few reasons given for this preference, but we think we know the real reason. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. This story was sponsored by Eden Club. Discretion is our middle name. A man wrote that ar our article. <laughs> uh. New app and headset allows for live translation of all languages. Is your Android spying on you? Cyberlife could be using its Androids to collect private information. More and more experts are suggesting that Cyberlife uses its 120 million androids to- That's a lot of androids. Shit. To record details of private conversations of its customers and sell them to trading partners. Ever talked about buying that new car while eating dinner with your partner? Cyberlife could use that information for targeted advertising. That's already a thing, but not with androids, but that is already a thing. 
The information goldmine doesn't stop there. Everything from personal indiscretions to political affiliations could easily be extracted and potentially used for nefarious purposes. The spate of reports linking Warren's presidency to CyberLife only deepens such concerns. Several consumer rights organizations have requested that CyberLife dispose the information it gathers and who it sells that information to, but the company has always refused. Requests for a formal inquiry have gone unanswered so far. Okay, but where can I learn more about Android sex? Murder weapon taken from here. We need to review three more pieces of evidence. Let's look out the window. Ooh, spooky. Spooky. A baseball bat. Let's analyze it. What's this? Fingerprints. From Carlos. From uh, Carlos Ortiz. So he maybe was trying to... Um, Fight back? Dent. Violent impact traces of Therium. What is Therium again? The Deviant took a knife. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. Oh, oh, it's re oh, uh, right, it's reversed. So this guy, it looks like this Carlos guy maybe instigated it. He was attacking, and then this. This guy grabbed the knife in self-defense. Okay, but I still have two more pieces of evidence to examine, so I hope you're gonna let me do that. Um, here. Fingerprints on the chair. Well, that's when he fell, I think. Right? How come it's not letting me look at this cord here? Oh, it's the wall! Okay, changing the camera. Okay, dried blood. I thought it was the cord on the floor. <laughs> okay, we did it! Report. Report. There we go. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the... Kitchen? In the kitchen. I don't... I'm not sure if that's correct. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... It started... Oh, the victim attacked the android with the, with the bat. With the bat. I think it started in the evidence. bathroom. Go on. The android stabbed the android through the chair. The victim stabbed the android. The android stabbed the, the victim. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The... I want to go to the bathroom. The bathroom? <laughs> I don't know if that's right, though. No, that can't be right. It, doesn't it started the in the bathroom. Oh. Uh, fled to the living room, then. The living room? Maybe the bathroom is later. I don't know. I'm just curious where the bathroom comes into play. Get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. 
With the knife. With the knife. Stabbed him 40 okay. times or whatever. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Android blood? Therium. You call it blue blood. Oh, okay. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Pink is neutral. Okay, that's... That's not bad, right? Find the deviant. Search for blue blood traces. What am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, I see it on the floor. Oh, now I see it. So I guess we follow the trail. I'm I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Here we go. Found something. Oh. Whoa. It's a fucking mop. A ladder was used. Oh. The blood stops here. Hello? Nope. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? There's a handprint on the ceiling. Okay, it's this room. Ah, I didn't look up. Traces lead to the attic. <gasps> Is he still in there? Find something to climb. Sorry guys, that took a long time. Let me take this chair. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> gonna check something. I'm gonna check something. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Are we gonna fight? Search the attic. Why is the camera angle like this? See? Everything's fine. Ah! He's there! He's there! How are you so calm, Connor? Deviant located. I was just 
just defending myself. Oh. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! <gasps> we didn't even get a choice. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. No, I was gonna let him go. Come on! Oh. <laughs> okay, we did it. We got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff. We missed some things, but that's okay. <laughs>